what's really interesting is that no matter what life experience we went through, our breath was there with us. So if we went, if we went through a stressful situation, our breath documented that event, right? So if, if we're, you know, under extreme stress and we're gasping, right? If we feel extreme relief, we're sighing and, and letting it out, but our breath was the one thing that was there the whole time. And so when we get into these altered states of consciousness, and I'm happy to share a recording uh, with you that, you know, it takes about 75 minutes to go through, but by the end of it, we do a forgiveness meditation and we, um, you know, uh, there's a loving kindness meditation that goes along with it. And we kind of rewrite our story by going back to a time in our lives when we had immense gratitude. And, and now we start, you know, kind of rewriting our, our, our story moving forward. And it's pretty amazing. Like I've had, you know, I've had many plant medicine ceremonies that I've gone through and breathwork ceremonies that I've gone through. And I would say that they very closely compare. In fact, I've taken clients who've gone through very strong plant medicine journeys. And after going through breathwork journeys, they found the breathwork to be far more effective and more accessible, right? You don't have to travel to Peru and, and stay uh, in, in the jungle for a few days to access this part of you. So the yogis in the Himalayas, they didn't have, you know, they didn't have the tools that we have now. They didn't have the medicines that we had now. So they had to learn how to use, you know, what was available to them internally, which is, you know, their anatomy in order to create these states. So through, I'm sure hundreds of years of experimentation and, you know, this yogic Vedic knowledge that's been passed down, they've been able to, to really use pranayama, which is uh, the breath uh, to be able to, you know, alter not just their states of consciousness, but alter their states of physiology. So breathing is, is so vital and so present in everything that we do. Um, and so when we, when we work with our clients through this, like we, you know, breath work, isn't just the five, 10 minutes of meditation that you might do. It's how are you breathing throughout the entire day? Are you breathing with a certain level of consciousness? And it's something that we can always come back to, right? We're not exercising all day. We're not eating all day. You know, we're not, um, you know, working all day, at least I hope, but the one thing we are doing each and every single day that we can fully control is we are breathing all day.